Hi guys, I'm Hannah Rogers and welcome to my YouTube channel. My first YouTube video. I'm, I'm nervous. So for those of you who don't know me, I don't know how you got here or how you ended up subscribing. I don't know how some of you ended up subscribing to my YouTube channel, but I'm glad you're here. I am on Instagram and TikTok at Hannah Joy Rogers. Handle will be somewhere here for my first video i thought it would be good to do a q a to get to know me a little bit more i had people ask me questions on instagram and on tiktok we have lots and lots and lots and lots of questions <laughs> Also, before we get into this video, I just wanted to say thank you to all the people who have already subscribed to this channel. I woke up this morning with 229 subscribers, which may not seem like a huge number, but to me that means the absolute world. And I just, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing when there's not even content on the page. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. What is your Starbucks order? I don't drink coffee a ton anymore, but if I were to go to Starbucks right now and I were to order a drink, I would be getting pumpkin cream cold brew with probably extra pumpkin cream. If they don't have the pumpkin cream, just regular cold brew with sweet cream or the salted sweet cream, but something cold brew. I love cold brew. I had a lot of questions about like style inspiration, favorite places to buy clothes, like who do I look up to for clothes. Honestly, I buy majority of my clothes at Goodwill or a local thrift store. I love thrifting, thrifting's so fun. For style inspiration, I don't know if I look to a specific person for outfit looks to kind of mimic. I'm on Pinterest a ton. All you need to know is I love the color black <laughs> a lot. I like neutral colors. I like mom jeans, high-waisted, baggy jeans, not a big tight fit person. And I like gold jewelry. Thrifting, thrifting's, thrifting's the go-to. If you had to save a dog or a cat from a life-threatening situation, which would you choose? Cat? Ugh, it's hard because I'm a dog and a cat person. I have a husky, I have a golden retriever, and I have a cat. Would I pick my cat over all of them any day? Yeah, I would. I love my cat, but I also love my dogs. Cat, how tall are you? I am 5'7". Okay, I actually get this question a lot. I don't know why. So, it's about my boyfriend, so I do have a boyfriend. He's amazing. He's my best friend. He's great. Anyway. <laughs> I get asked all the time if my boyfriend's a Christian. I am a Christian. Those of you who know me from TikTok or a different social media platform, you know that I am a Christian. I wouldn't date a non-believer. I wouldn't do it. What is your Enneagram? I am a six week seven. Favorite skincare product? I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere on this screen. And this is literally the only thing I use. I use a little cotton pad and I wipe, like, wipe my face with it. It removes makeup and I just use it to clean my face. That's what I use. I use the water stuff and then the lotion. Literally all I use for my skin. I don't know. I think I have pretty decent skin. How did you meet Brady? How did you meet Brady? How did you and your boyfriend meet? How did you meet? This is literally all on one thing. Um, we met in Florida through mutual friends. So shout out the mutuals. Favorite color, green. Oh. Mm. What's the best way to strive in your singleness? I am a firm believer in dating with a purpose and not just dating somebody just to date someone. I believe that if you cannot be content in yourself and content with your life single, you won't be content in a relationship. If you're not content single and you think that you're gonna be content in a relationship with somebody, you're seeking out that person to give you everything that you're looking for when in reality, what you're needing in your life is not a boyfriend. It's something so much more and you're you're craving something that, you're, that somebody else is not gonna be able to give you. Is your hair dyed or naturally really black? So this is hair dye. My hair is naturally um, brown, like a dark brown. I was actually on the path of being platinum and somebody dyed my hair orange. My hair color for some reason wasn't lifting the way that it should have been lifting and it just was not going lighter. So when it turned orange, it was like black it is. So it's been black for a little over a year now. Did you teach yourself how to play piano? No, so I actually went to a private school when I was really young 
and we had to play a an instrument and piano was the instrument that I chose or actually the instrument I would say my parents chose for me. I think at a very young age, it was about six or seven, I started playing piano and we moved and I wasn't going to a school where I had to take an instrument anymore but I took piano lessons growing up and then I stopped taking piano lessons probably around eighth grade. It's just a hobby that I kept up with for a while. I definitely cannot read music anymore but I can play chords. When did you start singing? I've been singing my entire life. It was not something that I did in front of people. I was super shy about singing in front of people, didn't love doing it. I think the most <laughs> exposure I ever had singing in front of people growing up was in like church choir or the church musicals that uh, the children's pastor put on at our church. I started to get comfortable in front of an audience when singing my junior year of high school when I started doing theater. I've been asked a lot about my testimony and if I grew up in a Christian home and stuff like that. I did grow up in a Christian home. I grew up going to church. I grew up going to youth group and I was saved when I was seven years old. But I did not dedicate my life to living for Christ until I was 17 years old. And I rededicated my life to Christ at a summer camp since 17. I've made lots of mistakes, but I've grown so much. I know that the sole purpose of why I exist is to live for Jesus Christ. Where do you get jewelry? I get asked way too much about my rings. All of these are from TJ Maxx jewelry section. These are both from Amazon. I get a lot of my jewelry from TJ Maxx. Love TJ Maxx. Favorite TV show of all time, Friends, easily. I don't even have to hesitate. I love Friends so much. Or New Girl. How do you style your hair? Oh, I've also been asked a lot of questions about how I curl my hair. This is leftover curls from yesterday, but I use a straightener. I'll just like take pieces, I don't know, maybe that thick, get my straightener. I'll literally just wrap it like that and then pull it down. How do I style my hair? Sometimes I'll pull it up and like put this in like a little bun or in a ponytail or you can pull it back lower. You could do a low pony and have little pieces out, you know, get crazy with it. You can do, you can do lots of stuff with your hair. Do, 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 do. Are there days when you don't feel like reading your Bible or devotional? Yes, and if you don't experience that, what's your secret? I think everyone goes through feeling unmotivated to get in the word and to actively pursue a devotional or actively get in the word. That's life. We're not always going to feel 100%. We're not always going to be right there all the time. I think at our low points is when it's even more important to be intentional about getting in the word because the more that we push it off and the more that we are like, eh, not right now, is the further and further that we'll get and even more comfortable we'll get with not getting the word daily. Favorite fruit? Blueberries. I don't know, I love fruit. Mango, pineapple, girl, I eat it all. I love fruit. How many kids do you want? Okay, first of all, I'm not even engaged. I'm not married. I shouldn't be thinking of five. Five, that's a lot. I'm just kidding. Uh, like two, three, four, one, none. Adopt. I don't know. How did you get connected with other Christian creators? TikTok. TikTok, thank you so much. I owe a lot to TikTok and a lot to the people on TikTok. Because of TikTok, I met so many awesome freaking people that I have the pleasure of being friends with today. Thanks, TikTok. How did you know you were ready for a relationship? I don't know if it's one of those things where you're like, I'm ready for a relationship. And then, I, I, it, I, I don't know how to explain it. It was him. It's him. It, it wasn't anything about like, oh, I'm ready for a relationship. It was, I'm ready for a relationship with him. If he wasn't in my life, I don't think I would be ready for a relationship. All right, that was way too cheesy. What has been your favorite place to travel to? In 2017, I went to Tanzania, Africa on a missions trip, and that has been by far the coolest place that I've ever traveled. Also, you're so funny, queen. <laughs> Stop. Somebody said it was funny. That's my favorite compliment. Okay, maybe the, no one asked, but if you want to compliment me, tell me I'm funny because it means the world to me. <laughs> how many tattoos do you have and show them? I don't know how many I have. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, I have a few more. I forgot I had some of these. Somebody said advice for being confident. Girl, be yourself. Be confident in who you are as a person. Be confident in who you are in Christ. Just try.
try not to let what people say get in your head because at the end of the day who cares what random people think about you if you have a close close group of friends that love you and care about you and your family loves you and cares about you and they don't have anything bad to say about you who cares what people who don't even know you have to say about you it doesn't matter it literally does not matter if what other people said about me mattered to me i would not be doing what i'm doing right now i would not be confident or comfortable enough to be in front of a camera right now talking to you guys just about my life because i would care too much about what people think i know that's so much easier said than done but honestly i keep getting questions about the devotional that i use so the devotional that i read is called new morning mercies by paul david tripp it is one page per day of some goodness and then some scripture at the bottom where you can get into the bible and read the word but it's great if you're just trying to do a quick devotion a lot of people don't do devotionals because they feel like they don't have enough time to do them but this one seriously is like maybe 10 minutes so i definitely recommend this devotional i think it's great Paul David Tripp knows what's up. Paul, shout out you. Who's your favorite person in the praise house? I feel like since Jacob Campbell put this up here, I feel like I have to say Jacob Campbell. Who's your favorite person in the praise house? Jacob. Somebody said, what made you want to get into music? Which is actually a really cool question. I remember distinctly this one moment in church. I was at youth group and the youth group band was leading worship for the sermon and I was listening to other people in the audience sing and they were singing the harmony to whatever the person that was leading on stage was singing and I started to mimic them and copy the harmony because I thought it sounded really cool. So for the longest time, I couldn't lead songs. I couldn't just sing a song, I was just constantly hearing harmonies and um, different harmonies that I could add to whatever they were singing. So then when I moved to Florida and I started leading worship and they wanted me to lead songs, it was hard for me because that was the first time in my life that I was trying to, to not sing a harmony, I don't know. Harmony, just harmony in general is what got me to love music. Who is your best friend? So, Obviously, my boyfriend is my best friend, but my girlfriends, I have three friends, Maddie, Caitlin, and Sarah, and they are my best girlfriends. I met Maddie and Caitlin in Florida when I moved to Florida after I graduated high school, and we've been super tight since then, and then Sarah is my hometown best friend. I went to high school with her. I've known her since sixth grade, but we didn't become friends till high school, but she's the best. I want to thank you guys for participating in this Q&A. There were so many questions and I didn't get to answer all of them. I just want to say thank you again. Um, I had fun making it. I look forward to making even more videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you want. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Hannah Joy Rogers, the same handle as my YouTube, um, and I'll put the handles in the description or whatever that even means. I'm new here. I don't know what's going on. So thanks again, guys. I love you all. See ya.